Okay, can you can you guys just ENC are recording and, and ENC I think it was it was your news reporter that I upset. Yes. Is that right? Yeah. It was ENC news news's reporter that I upset. So I just wanna can I do you mind if I address you guys about the incident? So I I the man I the man I don't know do you want me to take this down? I don't want you to get the spelling of my name wrong. You got my name, okay. Uh, it's very important that you don't get the spelling, so you don't, you, I mustn't pull it down, okay. Okay, I'll keep all the laws. I, the man, Craig, C-R-A-I-G, sorry, C-R-A-I-G, second name, Vincent, V-I-N-C-E-N-T, third name, Pizer, P for Peter, E for Egg, I for Igloo, S for Sugar, E for Egg again, and R for Robert. I, the man, Craig Vincent Pizer, who was charged with despicable things on the 6th of February. This, this is where I get, sorry, I, this is when I start doing what I did on the beach. How many revolutions? Calm, calm. I was charged with despicable things which go absolutely against who I, the man Craig Pizer, am. I was charged with things that are violent. I don't even know exactly what my... I, I know I was charged with four... Uh, I was charged with four things. I understand that there were 12 police arresting officers. I didn't know because we had to look at the footage afterwards. 12 arresting officers. My, my team said that there were another 24 coming in in, in Caspers or I don't know what. I didn't see. I, I found that to be an excess, I would say, is, is the word. An excess of power for the charges that were actually brought against me. And those charges, and I'm going from memory, and my memory is not 100% yet. Um, it's getting better. Um, People that know me know my memory. I always leave keys all over the shows. So I'm trying to go from memory here because I've got no paperwork. Um, I was charged, I think number one on it was no mask. I think it said on there. I didn't get a piece of paper with it. I wasn't given the paper. So I can't give you, I can't produce a piece of paper for you. I wasn't given a piece of paper. So I had to go from memory. I was charged with one, no mask. Two, I'm going from memory. So you've got to give me Give me a second, 700 revolutions, 700, go down to six. Uh, uh, one, no mask, one, no mask. Two, GBH. GB, GBH. Uh, grievous bodily harm, that's right, eh? Okay. Grievous bodily harm, which is doing harm, I think, to a personal uh, 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 person. That was number two. Number three, um, criminal, criminal, criminal injuria, which is swearing. What kind of swear words? Any swear words? Who determines what swear words are? Who determines which ones are the bad ones and the good ones? Say again. I can't, can, can he take his mask off so I can hear him? swearing. Okay, no, he said you can. He gave you permission. He said you can. Criminal injury is swearing. But what, 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 what makes criminal injury? Which, which one's the language? So if I said like shit, would that be bad? Okay, okay. So that anything like that? Okay, okay. Are you still going? Are you still filming? Are we filming there? Just to make sure that the filmers are filming. Yes. And there's someone filming the former that's filming the former to make. Okay. <laughs> We're getting this. Okay, so criminal injury. Um, criminal injury is swearing. These are the accusations against me. Number four. Come on, guys. Number four. Yes, uh, I think it was gender-based violence. It was, it was bigger. It, I think it was because it was a female and I was a big man. Okay. Then I'm confused. Anyway, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think, I think, I think it was gender-based violence, which is where Monique Mortlock, she works for you, eh? Uh, that's where I, 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 I apparently, and I'm accused of, um, 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 I'm accused of, of those accusations against 
Monique Mortlock, who is the ENCA, I don't have television, so I don't know, forgive me. And don't know your name of your network? Uh, ENCA, I don't have news, I never watch news, so I haven't had a TV for 20, 25 years. My ex-wife can testify to this, and my current wife. Um, so, um, ENC news reporter, whatever I said her name was, Mortlock, I said her name first, what was her name? Monique Mortlock, sorry Monique, forgot your name. It's been a long week. Um, yes, okay, those were the accusations against, uh, against me. I, I believe there was an excess of force used uh, w w and, and the accusations, um, they stand and I'm willing to defend myself. I believe I'm innocent, but before I go in there to be tried, I, I would like to extend an apology because I, I promised I would extend an apology. And also, you know, I've, I've got a group of people that are very trustworthy people. They are, um, they've been working really hard and I'm on a group of, um, a council of, of just diverse South Africans working and trying to get things to change. And I promised them, they were very confused at my actions on Saturday, as was I. Um, and, and I promised them that I would give them a statement within 24 hours. They're calling for my head. I said, please just give me 24 hours. Now, I'm good with timing. I'm not sure if I'm within those 24 hours, guys. Clay, I'm not sure if I'm within those 24 hours. Clinton, you guys can go back and check if I'm within those 24 hours. Um, but here's my apology to, uh, to Miss, is it Miss or Mrs? Mrs. Miss. To Miss Mortlock. Miss Mortlock, in no way did I in any way mean to insult you assault you, insult you, hurt you, drive fear into you in any way. And, and if I did, I, I must take responsibility for my actions. I'm really sorry if I did. There are reasons for it, the court can hear, but I wanted to give you an apology and an explanation yourself. I thought you'd be here in person yourself. Um, so so when, I, when, I, when I took your mask down like this, um, I made sure I didn't touch you. I didn't want you to be to feel threatened in any way when I took that. I just need to put context here. I am. Um, I am. Um, just give me a second. Sorry. I just a second. Um, um, I'm feeling dizzy. Um, sorry. I'm feeling quite dizzy. Oh, sure. Oh, just give me, and then it's easier. Sorry. Okay, that's better. I hope that person that's bringing those two cables can be got hold of and I can get some more sparkling water because I'm going to be so thirsty. Could somebody get me some more sparkling water? There's a cafe down there. I'll pay for it later. Sorry, my, my throat. So where were we? Um, so yes, in no way did I, did I wish to... Um, I did apologize on the day, but you obviously didn't see my apology or, or believe my apology. So here I come humbly before you and I say to you, I'm sorry, I did not mean in any way to aggravate you, uh, to be aggressive to you. I wasn't offended by you. But there was a real reason why I took your mask off. Um, the same reason that I, I wish I could take it off now, because I'm not sure if my message has been, you know, we communicate um, in this dimension and on this planet in five dimensions. We communicate in, on this planet um, with, with visual, with touch, with smell, um, and definitely with visual is important. So, you know, part of communication is actually when you when you take your mask off is watching people's lips move it's quite it's quite it's an extremely important part of communication otherwise you can have major communication breakdowns and that's what i did not want i did not want i did not want a communication breakdown on saturday the 6th of february at 11 o'clock i did not want a communication breakdown that is why i specifically and i was running late that morning so i was stressed i was so stressed out my head you wouldn't believe it my head was going boom, 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 boom. Like, like, you know, when you, when you have high voltage going through a, a, a small plug and, and the plug's about to explode, that's how I felt. Anyway, we got through that. The point is back to, the, back to that. I preempted that I wasn't gonna be able to communicate my message when I saw that the ENCA, ENC reporter, uh, Miss Mortlock, um, had her mask on. So I went and approached her and I said, hi, and we started chatting and I said, are oh, you going to be the reporter that interviews me? And she went, oh, who are you? I said, well, I'm the organizer. 
And she said, yes, I am. And I said, oh, great, I'm Craig Pies. I didn't have a mask on, so it was easy for her to, to recognize and hear my voice. But then what happened was when she, uh, when she spoke back to me, I could not hear her. So I got very afraid that, my, that, that she was gonna ask me a question on live TV with only the organization's second demonstration. It was only our second demonstration. Um, I was afraid, I was really afraid that, that, that she was gonna ask me a question and I wasn't going to hear the question because I don't only use my ears to hear, I also use my eyes to hear. I need to see people's lips. And there's a very good reason for that. I've got in my ears, I, I have a high pressure, uh, it's a small side business, but I have a very, it's a high pressure blasting business. Um, I, I, it's not like a cleaning blasting, it's like big blasting, like big pots and big compressors. Um, and, and what happens is it's, 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 a, it's a high pressure machine that's so loud, and if you, and if you don't wear safety gear, um, it can damage your ears. And I, I should wear safety gear, because that's part of the health and safety regulations of South Africa. But um, yes, I sometimes breach those with my, when it comes to my own safety and security and health. So as a result, my ears have, have, have through that, that sound over years, my ears have developed a sort of a, a muffledness, as it were. So when people talk to me through masks, I've got, to, I've got to always turn my ear to try and get the ear closer, which is what I was doing with Miss Mortlock. She obviously took this as an aggressive thing and stepped back when I, when I did that. And then, yeah, because she stepped back and then I stepped forward. I can see how that, you know, hindsight, I can see how that could be potentially perceived as a threat because I was a big male standing before a little female. So I stepped forward. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank goodness I've got them. Thank goodness you guys are here. Thanks, Ray, for that. I'm glad you took the day off. Um, so, basically what happened, uh, I stepped forward, she stepped back. I should have recognized that she was in fear now because the last thing you want to do is continue your conversation when somebody's in fear. That's the last thing you want to do. I, I, I did misread this and because I was, I was angst. I was so angst up because I was running behind and I never like running late for an appointment. But I was running late for the appointment that morning because I was preparing the whole night without sleeping. And as I was about to type my report, my, 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 my statement for the, for the second demonstration on the 6th of February at 11 o'clock, you know what happened? It sounded like this. Boom! The lights went out. ESCOM dropped me. It wasn't low. It wasn't. And it was such an important thing. And my heart just dropped. I was like, how am I going to finish this on time? Because now I had to print it and I couldn't print it. It was an unscheduled load shedding. I'd planned everything. The only thing I hadn't planned was an unexpected load shedding breakdown, which I was now in. So I was going to be late for the people, which 